Yo, what's up my mountain dudes? It's me, back at it again with another video. Uh, today, it, it's been a while and since I've done, you know, an actual review. There have been so many Mountain Dews that have come out since I haven't done a review. And that's really disappointing. But you know, when uh, it's, it's, it's so many things go on in everybody's life, your babushka dies, um, you slip and fall down a flight of stairs, your society falls apart, you uh, are in, you leave you leave school, you die in a car crash. All these kinds of things can happen in the span of a week or two years. So let's just do a quick catch up. I'll review all the Mountain Dews I haven't done yet. Okay, sue me. Uh, I can do whatever I want. You're, you're the you're the ones that do do what I say. I'm going to be going over my entire Mountain Dew collection, which. You can't see right now, but it's quite large. Um, I used to collect glass bottles. I used to collect stamps. I used to collect uh, coins. I used to collect little, little, little chilled, chilled. I'm not gonna say that. But the point is all those collections are gone now. My life is entirely consumed by Mountain Dew. What I've been doing while uh, I've been gone is just allowing Mountain Dew to completely circulate through my veins. I am now completely full of it, soda that being. And you might be going, hey, what's with the suit? What, what's with the suit that doesn't fit you very well? Well, now that, now that I'm graduated, I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to get a chance to, um, to wear it again since I'm such a huge disappointment. So I mean, may as well, may as well uh, show it off. I swear on the name of the Lord himself, one day I will own a green tuxedo with a little little pin. It's usually the United States one because you're the president. I'm the president of Mountain Dew. Uh, there's a couple problems with owning such a huge Mountain Dew collection. If it gets above like 80 degrees, they start to burst, especially the cans. Some of them implode, some of them explode. My original 1893 Coca-Cola Pepsi exploded yesterday and I thought that someone just shot me with a gun because it was so loud. And that's pretty disappointing because now I never get that soda back. I know some people drill holes in them and take the soda out, but where's the fun in that? The point is you can drink it later if you really want to. And I want to drink, what I really want in my life is to drink 20 year old soda. Now that's a man's way to die. What I'm looking for are, as, as we go through this are suggestions about what I should do with all this crazy plethora of Mountain Dew. I don't have one of each, some I just have like a, a case or two of. So there's no way I can drink all this. Should I drain the cans? Should I drain the bottles and replace them with colored water? to prevent them from exploding or spoiling or the can being ruined or rusting. Should I take all of the labels off the bottles and then take the tops and bottoms off the cans and make like a, a big collage to put on the wall behind me? Should I keep it all the way it is and just try to keep all the cans as full of liquid as possible and maybe I could get a shelf and then just never have the AC go out or they'll explode. There are a lot of different things I could do. Please help me. I really don't know what to do with all of this. And it's not stopping. It's, 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 it's getting bigger. Every day I get more Mountain Dew. Um, cake Mountain Dew is coming out. Thrashing Apple is coming out. Uh, like three new Bajas are coming out. It's a lot. I don't know how to deal with it all. Okay, I don't know how to start the, the actual collection, so let's just get into it. Here's the newly released Pepsi Blue. Uh, one sentence review. Tastes like a bath bomb. Another six pack of it because I don't have any self-control. Here's a single bottle of Mountain Dew Voodoo 2020. Um, the Voodoo's are definitely some of my favorite to collect since they get you get one every year for at least I keep they ho hope they keep doing it. This tastes like some kind of candy, Skittles perhaps. 
here is an entire case of Major Melon. The only, ma the only current mainstream melon flavored soda. And it tastes exactly what you expect. It tastes like that manufactured watermelon that you get in Jolly Ranchers. This is a case of Liberty Brew, which if you're, if you're uh, up and up, you know that Liberty Brew is done every other year. And this is a DUSA year. This is the year they're releasing DUSA. So this is like a year or two old. Ugh. A case of Mountain Dew Merry Mashup. I drank, I got like three of these and I drank the other ones. Uh, what, what was the other? Holiday Brew. I like Holiday Brew better, but I don't have any cases of it. So I guess this one wins. I always have one of the good old, good old standards. I have Code Red, which is a disgusting beverage, frankly. And I have classic Mountain Dew, that classic lime, that classic pee pee poo poo color, just in case I want to do something like, uh, I don't know, make some recipes from the Mountain Dew cookbook. A six pack of 16 ounce tall bottle Liberty Brews. I didn't say, oh, these taste, these taste like uh, blue voltage. A standard among Mountain Dew collectors. Livewire, it's it's not that special, you know. I don't really have to have it around, but it's a it's a flavor that you can find in some gas stations in some areas. But honestly, it's a toss up, so it's nice to have around in case you're looking for it. A bottle of Major Melon, a bottle of Diet Major Melon, because I have no self control. Mountain Dew Baja Blast Diet, or should I say Zero Sugar? What's the difference, idiot? Cans of both Charged Watermelon Shock and Charged Raspberry Lemonade. These are Diet Amp Game Fuels that were discontinued recently for God knows why, because the new energy drinks, diet energy drinks they have, mostly taste like donkey doo doo but these were pretty good probably the best diet drinks ever had ever will have thanks mountain dew for ruining everything that you make that's good mountain dew zero sugar in a cool can this fancy call of duty modern warfare bottle it's empty a random can of mountain dew rise strawberry melon spark I have, I have, I have the other ones, and to be frank, I have too many of them. I don't think I'm gonna get them out because there are so many of them. I have about eight of each. There are six Mountain Dew Rise flavors, and I have like seven or eight of each, and I don't like them. How, how am I supposed to keep that many Mountain Dew Rise just around? I bought them, what am I supposed to do with them? Tell me what I'm supposed to do with my Mountain Dew Rise. Gonna do a review, I promise. Another Mountain Dew Zero Sugar, but in a bottle. Mountain Dew Voodoo 2019. This tastes like creamsicle, and it's honestly a very good flavor. Never gonna find it again. You know, when Mountain Dew Voodoo came out, I was kind of expecting it to be like every bottle is a different flavor. I was kind of excited for it, like Dum Dums, the lollipop, but uh, nope, they really cheaped out on us that time. Mountain Dew Baja Blast. When it comes out again this summer, I'm gonna get a ton of it. But right now, this is my only bottle of Mountain Dew Baja Blast. And I'm sad about that, because it's pretty, pretty good flavor. It's probably one of the best mainstream flavors. Probably never gonna see white out again, are we? That stinks. Here's Mountain Dew SA from this year. Red, white, and blue, my big purple fanny pack, it's just all mixed together into one disgusting flavor. Should be red. Should be like a like a light red flavor. Cause yeah, purple. That's the color everybody loves. Oh, here's a big case of Mountain Dew Voodoo 2020. Ugh. Now when I get out this, this is when you know that you start to realize that I have a problem. Mountain Dew Pitch Black, the flavor that beat Baja Blast and is now a permanent flavor. Yippee, everybody loves pitch black, don't they? Idiots loving their grape flavors. Grape's the worst flavor. 
of anything. And I've had watermelon. See, this is what I'm talking about. See how it like squishes? Why is it imploding? Why is my soda imploding? Big ol' liter, 1.25 liter of Mountain Dew. They probably still sell these. I should probably just get rid of this. Tell me what I should do with it. Mountain Dew in a different liter. It's a regular one liter instead of a 1.25 liter. Uh. I'm burnt from just looking at this much soda. Ah, I found this in a thrift shop. I think there are six others and I could get them on eBay, but also that's something someone else could get me on eBay. Wasn't that a cool design though? I wish they would do these aluminum bottles more often. That'd make them super collectible. There's a little dragon design. Seven different one of these. That's pretty cool. But I found this in a thrift shop. So I remember when we, these were in stores, but at the time I was small baby and I know not of uh, my future's mistakes. Mountain Dew diet in just a normal bottle because you got to have one of them. Uh, Mountain Dew shine. Can't find this anymore, can you? That what a shame. Mountain Dew in just a normal bottle. Maybe it's an old bottle. I don't even, I, I, I could check. Aw, Mountain Dew Ice Cherry. They got rid of all the ice flavors like uh, six months after they put them out. Apparently people just love that red. They just love putting that red food coloring in their body, don't they? People just gone on death wish. Can't blame them. Life's awful. Pepsi Crystal. Crystal Pepsi. You can see that it's starting to develop that nice yellow color that you see in older bottles of Crystal Pepsi. The, the plan is to keep this for 20 years, drink it and then die. So uh, watch out for that video. I'm not sure if anybody's interested in this, but I used to uh, collect Arizona tea for a while because I thought they were fancy. Um, this is green tea with ginseng and honey. Tell me if you're interested in Arizona tea at all. Another bottle of diet. I'm not sure if I showed this one. Is this the same? Are these, these are, these are not the same. The, the labels are completely different. I, that's so weird. I, I guess I got them both then. Liberty Brew. This is probably the first Liberty Brew I got. Let me see the expiration date 2019. Yeah, this is a very old bottle of, <laughs> of Liberty Brew. Probably four, five years. A bottle of Merry Mashup. I like the, I don't know, it, I think it looks different than Code Red. It looks better. And then I got this little baby bottle of caffeine-free Diet Mountain Dew. Where are you going to find these? Where do you find caffeine-free Mountain Dew anymore? Used to be Mountain Dew Ice. Well, no, it wasn't Mountain Dew Ice. It was Sierra Mist. It's always been Sierra Mist, hasn't it? All right, time for the next tub. Oh, now we got my oldest ones. Mountain Dew Game Fuel Mango Heat Flavor. This expired in 2017. They don't do game fuel like, like this anymore. Doesn't taste that good either. The other one that came with it, uh, citrus cherry flavor. It tastes like um, Code Red, but with more vitamins. Really old bottle of live wire for some reason. I mean, it's older. It's got the Baja Blast versus Pitch Black picture on the side. So that's how old that is. Really old voltage. Uh, a regular short stack Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew Tropical Smash Game Fuel. They released these old game fuels in pairs of two and they were only out for like a month or something. This is a bottle of Code Red half empty? I didn't drink any of this. No one's drinking any of this. This is expired in 2015. Where did it go? Did God take it from me? Give it back, God. Take me, not him. Arizona Shack Fu Punch, great flavor. I don't have the other flavors. I couldn't find them in stores and I didn't know what the internet was at the time. Ooh, one of my favorites, Mountain Dew Spiked Raspberry Lemonade. That's an old one. It's spiked because it has cactus juice in it. Doesn't that make sense? Uh, more Diet Mountain Dew Small, regular Mountain Dew, expired in 2016. Whiteout, 
a flavor we're never going to see again because it's so weird and unimportant. But at the same time, it kind of has an appeal to it, doesn't it? It's got the same cloudy, full of bacteria um, ness that regular Mountain Dew has, but it's missing that pea green color. It's starting to become yellow, like the Crystal Pepsi. Mountain Dew regular ice. I didn't realize that they were gone. This is one of those kind of sodas that you don't really realize they're gone until you like see it in your collection. You're like, wait. Where did Mountain Dew Ice go? Because who buys Mountain Dew Ice? Who bought Mountain Dew Ice? Arizona Iced Tea with Lemon Flavor. This is Arizona's Cherry Lime Ricky. They had a series of Rickies and they were good. And they got rid of them. Because... <laughs> Society. Golden Bear Light Strawberry Lemonade from Arizona. Little baby can of green tea. Little baby can. Ooh. Mountain Dew spiked lemonade, just the regular, no strawberry in it. Good stuff, by the way. Mountain Dew in a fancy bottle. I wish they'd bring these back. They're nicer to look at. Mucho mango. I'm pretty sure they still sell these in the store. If I drank this now, I'd probably get AIDS. Mountain Dew Golden Bear Light, no, not light lemonade, regular lemonade with strawberry. And it's got this guy on it. I assume he's the golf man that made Arizona or something. I don't know, I don't know these things. Mountain Dew Merry Mashup, except it's from 2020, so it's year old. Arizona Light Half and Half, same fancy bottle. Now in diet flavor. This is the aforementioned 1893 original cola, which exploded and got over everything and still tastes good. Pepsi, if you can bring back any of your products, Please bring back 1893, all of them. They were ever so good. I've been a good boy. I've been a good little Mountain Dew man. Please bring back 1893. I will give you a big kiss. If you bring back Mountain Dew, eight, I mean, Flip Pepsi 1893, I will come to your factory and I'll work there for a lot of money. You're welcome. Arizona Iced Tea Peach. Oh, this is a fun one. It's Arizona Herbal Tonic with the RX symbol on the front, like it's like it's medicine you're supposed to take. Two cold ones for the boys. My favorite label drink, just cause it's green, it's Mountain Dew color, so obviously. It is the only one that's like a dark green all over. Mountain Dew Green Label. Look at the art on that. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Very uh, pretty. Green apple kiwi. Those are the two worst flavors. But when combined, they create one. Curiously daring do. I'm showing like one of each kind, but obviously I have multiples of some of these. I have multiple 2020 voodoos, multiple live wire, multiple code red, but just no more than like three or four, nothing crazy, except for the rises. And I'm gonna show them to you just to prove that I own them. Peach Mango Dawn, Strawberry, Melon Spark, Tropical Sunrise, Orange Breeze, Berry Blitz, and Pomegranate Blue Burst. Of these, Peach Mango Dawn is the best flavor. Then Tropical Sunrise, then Orange Breeze. Just to give you a heads up, other ones, diet so you know not great in the first place these did start the uh, beginning of a very big Mountain Dew like boom new flavors though getting rid of a lot of old ones though so it's gonna be sad it was major melon then it was rise and then we're gonna get the new Bajas and the cake and the Thrasher it's gonna be fun fun times not not for me though because that means gonna have to add more to the collection gotta get each of the bottles it's fun I'm just gonna hold this big bag o in my lap. This big noisy bag. I hope you can hear it good. Mountain Dew Game Fuel Arctic Burst from 2018 or something? 2016 maybe? I can't read that. Really old Dew Essay. Because you can see it's all crushed and stuff. Really old Voltage, another one. Oh, here it is. Mountain Dew Holiday Brew. One of my favorite Mountain Dews, other than 
the Chick-fil-A one, which is called uh, Sweet Lightning. I hope I hope they're gonna stop making Merry Mash up and bring back Holiday Brew. It's better. I think it's better. Diet Mountain Dew, maybe a different, like older one or something. I don't know, different designs. You'd have to compare them. Another Baja Blast, except this one's like super old. So I guess I was wrong that it's the only in the house, but super old. Taco Bell original. Uh, Lil Baby, and then another Diet, but this one's in a tall bottle. And then we got another bag. Oh, I uh, this is an issue. Mountain Dew, I'm sorry, Arizona Grape Aid. <laughs> that doesn't say, who gave the grapes AIDS? Sorry, bad joke. Watermelon, X the aid though, it's not watermelon aid. Fruit Punch, another mucho mango, but in a can this time. Raspberry iced tea, very good, very good. This is good stuff! Uh, lemonade, and with peach juice. This one's also pretty good. And I think this is the last bag. I might take another look around to see if I missed any, but I think this is the last bag. Uh, fruit punch in a bottle. Ooh, zero calorie. It's got nice art on it though. It's got like white women playing banjos on it. Uh, Kiwi strawberry, great combination. Light half and half, I, I guess I have two of these. Maybe it was a can, I forgot. And then we got the classic sweet tea. It's covered in something sticky, so that's good. Oh, good, it's covered in something sticky. Yum, yum. It's another regular, and this is just another regular one, except it's got Alita Battle Angel on it. What the hell is that? All right, and now I have this little hell a ring of Mountain Dew surrounding me that I'm going to have to pick up after this is done. I'm going to begin reviewing Mountain Dew again. I'm going to keep drawing. Maybe I'll interview some people, dress up as a pizza, um, cook the Mountain Dew recipes. Definitely. I'm going to make the Mountain Dew recipes and you're going to be forced to watch. I'm coming out. It's a good song. Uh, what should I wear? What? Hey, hey everyone. Thanks for watching. Tell me what I should wear next episode. Tell me if this fits. I can't, I can't tell. I got, got a little, little, uh, I look pretty good, don't I? But, uh, tell me what I should wear next time. Tell me where I can buy a green suit other than the Mountain Dew bottle suit. And what should I do with all this Mountain Dew? Should I pour it into a big bathtub and take a bath in it? Should I make it into a mural? Should I keep it the way it is? Should I drain the cans? And tell me what I'm missing too. Are there any just blatant disrespects of Mountain Dew history that I am missing from this collection? I've been collecting them for like seven or eight years. So I, I, I don't know what came before that, but anything after that, let me know. Okay, so apparently some some people, including Jesus Christ and uh, Joe Biden, think I am a total idiot. They think that I missed half my thing of Mountain Dew and got undressed and took down all my equipment and then had to start it back up again because there was just an, an entire another box of Mountain Dew that I didn't talk about because it was just under my bed. I stopped the video and I was like, <laughs> uh. What about Maui Burst? What about all, all the other Mountain Dews? What about the other 1893s? What about the Kickstarts? And I was like, oh no, I forgot. There's an entire another box. Uh, so uh, bonus round, if you stick around. This is my big box of empty cans. They're empty, but they count because they weren't empty and then they exploded and everything's falling apart around me. I'm just gonna throw these all over the floor. Mountain Dew Code Red in a fancy bottle. Mountain Dew Energizing Orange Citrus Kickstart. They don't, I don't think they sell this kind of anymore, do they? Yeah, they still sell Kickstarts, I just haven't bought any because they're bad. Uh, Mountain Dew Grape Lime Ricky, the other ones with that uh, Lemon Lime Ricky. Maui Burst, a classic, a Dollar General exclusive. Some I know some people whose this is their favorite gives me heartburn. 
bad heartburn. Uh, energizing, hydrating boost, pineapple, orange, mango, pretty good. White label, very good soda. One of the first ones, collectibles I got while I started college. They had them in the, in like the, the lunch area and I got like six of them for $2 each because I didn't know what money was. Uh, now I'm doing a fancy can. G -g 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 charged Cherry Blast Game Fuel with the stupid little lid. 1893 Ginger Cola. This one exploded also. You can see just the, the lid just completely blew off of this thing. It's full of, it's full of something. Like there's something hard at the bottom. Oh. Uh, green tea with ginseng and apple juice. Oh! Half and half, sweet, sweet tea, lemonade. You know, my, my collection actually wouldn't be that good if I didn't look in this box. My collection rules now. Spiked lemonade, I thought I already showed this. I guess I have an open one and a closed one. Uh, Game Fuel Charged Cherry Burst. Just a bottle, just a tall bottle. Newer, newer-ish. Do SA when it first came out. This is the can. <laughs> little, little tiny baby Mountain Dew Ice. Look how cute it is. I don't have any regular cans around me, ironically. Well, yeah, I do. See, it's like a tiny little baby can. Who would drink this? Well, babies. Don't give your babies Mountain Dew, jerk. This is another 1893 cola, which was opened, and now my closed one is also opened. Energizing Black Cherry. I think this one's been discontinued. Pretty, it's probably one of the best ones though. Game Fuel Charged Tropical Strike. I'm not sure if this has been discontinued yet or not. Another Hydrating Boost. I think Hydrating Boosts have been discontinued hard. Mountain Dew Diet in a little can. Ooh, this is Mountain Dew and it's got a nice camo on the can. God, I took off my suit and everything, and now I'm just, I'm naked, I'm basically naked. Another ginger cola, I should probably throw away that one that's like caked with something. Game fuel citrus cherry flavor, but in a can. These are kind of hard to find. Energizing limeade, my old enemy. I reviewed every single kickstart, but I forgot this one and then reviewed it like two years after it was released, after it was discontinued. Arizona sweet tea in a bottle. Energizing original Mountain Dew Kickstart diet. I think this is still in stores. Arizona lemon line Ricky, uh, bring it back or I'll have, I'll have a, I'll, at I'll attack you. I'll attack you. Mountain Dew half and half zero. Little bit of a difference. Lid stuck in there. This thing has mold on it. Fancy. Came with the mold even. Uh, another. Kickstart Limeade. Ooh, Mountain Dew Berry Lime Flavor Game Fuel. I'm pretty sure this one like exploded and that's why it doesn't have anything in it, but I would really love to see what color this was, which I can look up, but I wish it was full and I didn't have to. Another bottle of that fancy code red. I for they're all in boxes, so I forget what I have and I end up getting like two or three of the just empty cans. Game Fuel Charge Orange Storm. This was the first kickstart that was released after the original Game Fuel line was uh, made. Just flexing my Mountain Dew history on you guys. Regular can, probably a very old can though. Mountain Dew can, Merry Mashup original can. Another hydrating boost, Strawberry Kiwi. They went through a lot of different kickstart flavors, didn't they? Man, Mountain Dew just <laughs> doesn't know when to stop. Mountain Dew Spiked Raspberry. Baja Blast, this is like the original can when it first came out, I think. Eh, it, it came out 2016. I'm not sure if that's when Baja Blast came out. Hydrating Burst Energizing Raspberry Citrus, one of my favorites. One of my favorites, discontinued. I don't think Mountain Dew has any really boppin' Mountain Dew flavors right now. The last one they had that was boppin', boppin', that was still in stores was the diet charged raspberry lemonade and the uh, green one, whatever it was. Now that those are discontinued, I don't think there's any good Mountain Dew in stores other than Sweet Lightning. Le more normal diet can. Ooh, half and half iced tea and tropical. That sounds pretty good. I wonder if they still sell that. I hope they do. Iced tea peach with real juice, but this time it's a diet. It's got a nice checkered pattern on it. That's pretty cool. Looks like a diner. Mountain Dew Ice Can. Energizing Mango Lime Kickstart. I understand why this wouldn't stick around. 
original flavor though you you got to keep those original flavors mountain dew just keep them on the shelves for more than like half a year please orange aid that 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 looks pretty good this is like if i saw this in a store i'd be like whoa is that sunny d it is basically sunny d another sweet tea can covered in dust original game fuel <sighs> caffeine free mountain dew i don't think this is a thing anymore i think they honestly just have sierra mist that's so sad another charged cherry and this one's a baja blast again but empty oh here's a cool can here's a cool can this is the uh shaquille o'neal no wait this is the <laughs> um Ru russell westbrook can i don't know i don't i don't do sports um energizing blueberry pomegranate very good flavor very s slightly original no other blueberry pomegranate flavor since then so pomegranate was like a health flavor craze for a while and just got rid of it arnold palmer natural energy god i don't even remember this apparently not around anymore the original mountain dew amp which preceded the game fuels they're still making this they're still making this i gave it a bad review said it tasted bitter a lot of people watched that one review where i called their favorite drink <laughs> bad and you know what i'm still right i'm gonna redo that video and i'm gonna <laughs> just put my butt on the camera black label the first label the best label the best mountain dew made four years ago and it's gone now it's my favorite mountain dew for a very long time and when they got rid of it so sad so sad mountain dew spiked and mountain dew label were so much cooler than game fuel and rise Ooh, fancy tiger on the front what are you gonna do get, get the children's market of people that drink diet mountain dew Children shouldn't drink caffeine. If you feed your kid Coca-Cola or any product with caffeine in it, you are stupid. You are stupid. I know uh, this is not divisive. This is not an opinion. If you give your child caffeine, if they're below the age of 18 and you let them drink caffeine, even 16. Yeah, let's say 16 because you know 18, like you can't really control them. If you give your child caffeinated beverages, including Coca-Cola or Mountain Dew, before they're the age of 16, you are a big, stupid, idiot, dumb, dumb, bad parent. If you were given Mountain Dew as a, as a child, uh, you'll end up like <laughs> me. Just kidding, I didn't have any. Had a lot of the other stuff though that was, you know, secretly caffeinated, like uh, Coke. Who knew that Coke was caffeinated? I didn't for a long time. Black Currant Cola, very good, very original never gonna see it again what a shame mountain dew um i mean sorry did i say mountain dew current cola <laughs> citrus cola the other 1893 obviously i had all four of them obviously another green label oh how did i miss so such a huge box of them energizing blood orange this was a cool flavor tiny little baby cutie can mountain dew energizing midnight grape kickstart Original Code Red can, tiny little 12 pack. Ah, uh, you thought I didn't have this one, didn't you? You thought you were gonna like, he's no way he has that one. Mountain Dew throwback in a can. I only have the one. P pretty good. They <laughs> just bring back all the Mountain Dew flavors. I don't know which one I want you to bring back. I just bring it, bring some of them. Bring a Mountain Dew flavor that's not Dew SA or Liberty Brew or one of the. Bring back any flavor of Mountain Dew that's not Baja Blast. Come on. You bring it back every summer. We're no, we know you're going to do it. It's your best flavor. And every single person that voted for Pitch Black can just eat a, eat a, eat a fat one. Eat a fat one of whatever you want. Mountain Dew Original Kickstart. Original Kickstart? Fancy. It's not even the game fuel. It's the original Kickstart. We'll probably still sell it. Original Mountain Dew can. I'm not sure if they've changed the design recently. And lastly, tiny little can of pitch black. Ugh, the dust is everywhere. Oh, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be sneezing later today. I promise that's all of them this time. This is in my entire Mountain Dew collection. Tell me what I should do with it. 
Tell me if I'm missing any. Please. Now I gotta go pick them all up. Yep, and here's, here's all of it. There are my Mountain Dew Rises. They get their own little box with the eggs. They're la the Mountain Dew Rise are laying eggs. They're multiplying.